my dad. He will be forever known as Weird Dad. Let's get into the video. Like Alright, we're on chapter three of The Great Divorce, and it's getting light outside. A cliff had loomed up ahead. It sank vertically beneath. So far, I could not see the bottom, and it was dark and smooth. We were mounting all the time. At last, the top of the cliff became visible like a thin line of emerald green stretched tight as a fiddle string. Presently, we glided over the top, and we were flying above a level, grassy country, through which... Grassy country? That doesn't grassy. make sense. Gra a level, grassy, like a plain, like a, a cow pasture or something like that. Um, through which there ran a wide river. We were losing height now. Some of the tallest treetops were only 20 feet below us. Uh, but then suddenly we were set at rest. Wait, at rest? Oh, wait, oh. Then suddenly wait. our bus came and we were set at rest. Everyone had jumped up. Curses, taunts, blows, and a filth of vituperations. You know what vituperation is? No. That's like um, scolding someone or, you know, um, uh, cussing them out or something. Oh. That's a fancy word for that. Oh. Uh, came to my ears as my fellow passengers struggled to get out. A moment later, they had all succeeded. I alone was in the bus, and through the open door, there came to me the fresh stillness of the singing of a lark. A lark? Yeah. A, a lark, a lark. Clark, three, three. A lark. Clark, 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 Mr. Cannon. What? I got I'm out. I'm making no sense today. Yeah. I got out. The light, well, this is, yeah, wait till you see what happens. I, the okay. light and the coolness that drenched me were like those of summer morning. Early morning, a minute or two before the sunrise. Only that there was a certain difference. I had the sense of being a, in a larger space, perhaps even a larger sort of space, than I had ever known before, as if the skies were further off and the extent of the Great Plain was wider uh, than they could be um, on this little ball of so, earth. So, is it thick? Is this a thick, a very thick? Is what thick? Is, is this thing thick? Because it's large. Yeah, it's just like regular, it's like Earth, actually, it oh. sounds like. It's, but that's what he's saying, is that it's not like Earth, because it, the, everything is, the plane goes on uh, much farther, and the sky seems to be taller. So it's almost like maybe he's in... Hell? No. Heaven? Yes. Okay. Um... Um, I had got out in some, um, in some sense, which made the solar system itself seem an indoor affair. It gave, what about an outdoor affair? It, Why does everyone not think of the outdoor affairs? Uh, it, I feel bad for the outdoor affairs. They just want to be loved. But no, it's the indoor affairs. Because everyone loves the indoor affairs. <sighs> okay, sorry. I, bra I broke character. Um, because, like... Indoor affairs are stupid, okay? Okay. It gave me a feeling of freedom, but also of exposure, possibly of danger, which continued to accompany me through all that followed. It is the impossibility... Weird. It is the impossibility of communicating that feeling or even inducing you to remember um, it as I proceed, which makes me despair of conveying the real quality of what I saw and heard. So, in other words, it's hard for him to describe. And at, at first, of course, my attention was caught by my fellow passengers who were still grouped about in the neighborhood of the omnibus 
which is a British name for a bus. That's weird. Uh, okay. Though beginning, I just thought, thought um, you might be one. I don't know like what. I think it's like a double decker bus or something, like from Harry Potter. Um, I don't think it's a double decker. Though bus, but okay. beginning, some of them to walk into the landscape without with hesitating steps. I gasped when I saw them. Saw what? Saw who? Saw when? Saw where? Now that they were in the light, they were transparent, fully transparent, when they stood between me and it, smudgy and perfectly opaque when they stood in the shadow of some tree. They were, in fact, ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? Ghosts. Man-shaped stains on the brightness of that air. One could attend to them or ignore them at will as you do with the dirt on a window pane. I noticed that the grass did not bend under their feet. Even the dewdrops were not disturbed. Weird. Then some readjustment of the mind or some focusing of my eyes took place, and I saw the whole phenomenon the other way around. The men were as they had always been, as all men had known and had perhaps. It was the light, the grass, the trees that were different, made of the same different substance, so much solider than things in our country that men were ghosts by comparison. Moved by a sudden thought, you, are, are you saying that every man is pale? Yeah, I think that's what he's saying, is that in this light or whatever or that man is like a shadow That's um weird. and that this is where it's real what about the women what about the women well i'm sorry i mean that in a um generic sense um like what mankind or moved by a sudden thought i bent down and tried to pluck a daisy which was growing at my feet the stalk wouldn't break I tried to twist it, but it wouldn't twist. I tugged till the sweat stood out on my forehead, and I had lost most of the skin off my hands. Stop. <laughs> um, he, it must have hurt, man. <laughs> uh, the little flower was hard, but not like wood or even iron, but like diamond. There was a leaf, a young, tender beech leaf, lying on the grass beside it. I tried to pick the leaf up, but my heart almost cracked with the effort. Okay, I and, I, and I believe I did just raise it, but I had to let go of it at once. It was heavier than a sack of coal. As I stood recovering my breath with great gasps, and looking down at the daisy, I noticed that I could see the grass not only between my feet, but through them. I was, I, I was, I was also a phantom. Who will give me the words to express the terror of that discovery? Golly, I thought, I'm in for it this time. I don't like it. I don't like it, screamed a voice. It gives me the pip. One of the ghosts had darted past me back into the bus. She never came out again, as far as I know. Yeah. See, all these people, if you think about it, are going to have to make decisions about whether to get back on the bus. Oh. <laughs> I told you that would make you think. That's weird. Yeah, so that she's the first one. It's like Survivor or Big Brother or whatever. It's another way. You know, you're off the island. Um, the others remained uncertain. Hey, hi, mister, said the big man, addressing the driver. Uh, when have we got to be back? You never need to come back unless you want to, he replied. Stay as long as you please. There was an awkward pause. This is simply ridiculous, said a voice in my ear. One of the quieter and more respectable ghosts had sidled up to me. There must be some mismanagement, he continued. What is the sense of allowing all that riffraff to float about here all day? 
Look at them. They're not enjoying it. They'd be far happier at home. They don't even know what else to do. I don't know very well myself, said I. What does one do? Oh, me? Sleep. I shall be met in a moment or two. I'm expected. I'm not bothering about that, but it's rather unpleasant in one's first day to have the whole place crowded out with trippers. Day trip. Uh, day tripper. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah. They're not. This could be symbolizing that everyone's on drugs. <laughs> no. What? Uh, damn it. Uh, How rude. That's what it says. Damn it. Damn uh, it. <laughs> one, uh, one's chief object in coming here at all was to avoid them. Mm. And he drifted away from me. And I began to look about. In spite of his reference to a crowd, the solitude was so vast that I could hardly notice the knot of phantoms in the foreground. Greenness and light had almost swallowed them up. But very far away, I could see what might be either a great bank of cloud or a range of mountains. Sometimes I could make out... Uh, uh, in it, steep forests, far withdrawing valleys, and even mountain cities perched in inaccessible summits. At other times, it became indistinct. The height was so enormous that my uh, waking sight could not have taken in such an object at all. So it's a mountain that he can't even see the top of. Light brooded on top of it. Oh, I guess he can't. Slanting down thence, it made long shadows beneath every tree on the plain. There was no change and no progression as the hours passed. The promise, or the threat, of sunrise rested immovably up there. Long after, so, and down below, it's always twilight, and here, it's always sunrise. Ah. Long. How about where is it always day? Up above. Oh. Because he sees the light on the tops of the mountains. Can't we go there? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I guess we would have to make a trek. Long after that, I saw people coming to meet us. Uh, because they were bright, I saw them while they were still very distant. And at first, I did not know they were people at all. Mile after mile, they drew nearer. The earth shook under their tread as their strong feet sank into the wet turf. Are they talking about angels? <sighs> He, I don't think he ever calls them angels, but yes, that, I think that's the impression that we're supposed to get. Oh. A, a tiny haze and a sweet smell went up where they had crushed the grass and scattered the dew. Some were naked, some were robed, but the naked ones did not seem less adorned, and the robed ones did not disguise... Oh, uh, those who uh, who wore the massive grandeur of muscle and radiant smoothness of flesh. Some, uh, some were bearded, but no one in that company struck me as being of any particular age. One gets glimpses, even in our country, of that which is ageless. Heavy th uh, th thought in the face of an infant and frolic childhood and that of a very old man, which is true. There are some people, even when they're young, they have old souls. Huh. And old people who have young souls. Hopefully I'll be one of those. I doubt it. You just better stay out of my yard. That's all I can. Stop. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> Quit cutting through my yard, That's kid. A I'll call job. the cops on you. Yeah, um, you already have a toddler's soul. Here it was. All and you're already something... Here it was, all like that. They came on steadily. I did not entirely like it. Two of the ghosts screamed and ran for the bus, so they lost two more, so they're up to three. They're up the to rest three. of us huddled closer to one another. This is where we end up. <sighs>